All right, welcome to Denver 7 Sports as we continue to remember one of the best players in Broncos history, Demarius Thomas. We, of course, remember watching him play 63 touchdowns. He was great. We also remember the quiet calm, the bright smile, the dedication to community, and what he meant to all of us here in Broncos country. Here's Broncos insider Troy Rank, who was at Dove Valley today. I'm Demarius Thomas. When the Broncos learned of the absolute gut punch news of the passing of Demarius Thomas, it left them time to reflect. We all love him. We all miss him. For Garrett Bowles, he thought back to the support Demarius gave him early in his career. I know he touched my life um, and so much. And I know if he was here today, and one thing that he would tell me is just keep working. That's just one thing that he always did. He was always working. He was always the hardest worker, always the first one in this building one of the last ones to leave, and that's just the type of person he is. He left a legacy that we all miss so much. I spoke with former Bronco David Bruton today. He and DT were teammates for six years in Denver. He said, of course, he remembers his walk-off touchdown against the Steelers. Touchdown, Denver is on. But more than anything, he remembers Demarius Thomas's smile. It was the same every time we went and did stuff off the field. He, he just lit up a room. And DT was that guy who just could be in a room, smile, and the kids would light up. They would run to him. They would respond well to him. And that was not just kids, but adults and elderly as well, whomever was around. Just He just had that energy about him. What I will remember is his disarming personality, his boyish enthusiasm for life and for <laughs> football. <laughs> <laughs> Reporting for Denver 7, Troy Rick. Well, yeah, that's one thing we heard so much about today. DT smile. We heard it from everybody. Tim Tebow to David Bruton. Um, and if you met her, talk to DT, you'd be smiling too. I can confirm that that's true. Every time I talked to DT or interviewed him, he was smiling, no matter what the circumstances were. It was great watching him interact with kids at his summer football camps. My twin boys went to those camps. I took these pictures. As DT would jump in and do the drills, he would race the kids, he would play in the games, he was awesome. We talked to former teammates Brandon Stokely and Tyler Columbus today about DT's special bond with their kids. My son loved him, and there, there was one guy when I went to the Hall of Fame who uh, my son reached out to. He said, make sure you send me a picture of you and DT. It wasn't me and Tom Brady, me and this guy, Champ Bailey. These, no, it was make sure you send me a picture of you and DT, and that was it. Uh, and that just speaks volumes of him. Uh, he's my son's favorite player. Kids made his day. Uh, serving people made his day. That's what made Demarius happy. You know, biggest smile you've ever seen in your life and, and authentic. Uh, and if you've ever met him, you probably feel like he's your best friend. Uh, and, and he met a lot of people. So the, the things that stand out are all the ways that he served other human beings. All right, the Broncos will have a tribute to Demarius Thomas this Sunday before the Lions game at Empower Field at Mile High. The players will wear number 88 decals on their helmets.